hi guys welcome back to the channel if this is your first time being here thank you so much for stopping by and thank you for clicking on this video i do appreciate your presence with me today and today i'm going to show you how i made my noisy son how i made or how, how i sublimate these photo magnets for your refrigerator now on this side you'll have the sublimated image and on this side you'll have the magnets now the pack that it came in came in with this part right here which is the part that you sublimate on and this part separate which is the magnets now these came out beautiful i absolutely love them and i'm so excited to take you on this journey of making them now the materials you're gonna need of course you're gonna need you're gonna need these blanks i got these on amazon i'm gonna put a link to where i got them on amazon when they came initially i thought that you know when you buy a sublimation blank usually it comes with a protective sheet over it that protects the blank from scratches or stuff like that but this one did not come like that so that's I want to tell you it didn't come I thought it was there I was just trying to oh I'm trying to get it off nothing is, is on it so that's something you need to know so because they didn't come with that protective layer you will have to clean the surface well and you're just going to need rubbing alcohol i use rubbing alcohol to wipe it down and then i used my lint roll and i lint roll um because i used paper towels so i lint rolled it so there are no debris um left on it you're also going to need heat resistant tape i use the a sub sublimation paper and I use sublimated ink to get this project done. So without further ado, let's get into Cricut Design Space and I'll show you how to put these together. Okay, we are in Cricut Design Space. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over here where it says upload. And I'm going to go to some pictures that I have previously because these are going to be photo magnets so i'm going to go to where it says view all now what i'm going to do i'm going to search for the ones that i want to use so i'm going to use this one i'm going to add to canvas i'm going to use this one I'm gonna press new. So what you realize is that these will come in very big. So I'm just gonna go ahead and size them down. Okay, now that I size them down, I am going to take my view up a little bit more. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here where it says shapes. So the shape of the magnets are three inches by three inches. So I'm going to grab a shape here. And because I do not want any white in my sublimation, so this is my shape. I'm going to change it to 3.1 by 3.1. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to send the pictures to the back. So I'm going to I'm going to right click and then press send to back. And then I am going to 
size my picture down. So I could do two things. I could either um, size the picture to what I make the shape big and then size it, which I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to make the shape big and then size it to 3.1. I think I'll do that. So I'm going to take my shape. I'm just going to make it as big as possible. I'm going to put it over the amount of the picture that I want. Okay. I'm going to select both the picture and the square. And I'm going to go down here where it says slice. OK. So now I have this part. I don't need this part, so I'm going to delete it. And then now I'm going to size this one to 3.1. Okay, that one is done. So I'm going to do the same thing for the other. So for this one, I'm going to put my shape over. I'm going to send the picture to the back. I'm going to select both the picture and the shape, and I'm going to go down here where it says slice. So when it is sliced, this is what you're going to have. You're going to delete this part. Then I'm going to put this to 3.1. So I'm going to go up here where it says size. I'm going to press 3.1, enter. So I have two so far. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of them. Guys, um, now that I have all the pictures here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide my shape and then I'm going to hit make it. Okay. Now I'm going to hit make it. So when I hit make it, it is going to sort it into the mats. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and mirror my image. I'm going to mirror both mats. Okay. Then I'm going to press continue. Then it's going to tell me to send to printer. It's going to search for my device. So the device that I'll be using is the Epson. That's my sublimation printer. I'm going to use AdBlin on and I'm going to use system dialog and then I'm going to press print. Okay, so the printer that I'm going to use, I'm going to change it to the correct printer, which is the HP. I'm going to click on preferences. So the one that I'll be using, I'm going to use my pre-sub um, test material. I'm going to you put it on portrait mode. Your paper type should be premium present paper, premium presentation paper mat. Your quality should be high. Two-sided printing should be off. Then you're going to go over here and you're going to press more option. All right, since I mirrored my image already in Cricut Design Space, I'm going to uncheck this box. But if you did not mirror in Cricut Design Space, then you should leave this box checked. 
you could go over here where it says advanced, ensure that it is on Adobe RGB and the gamma is 2.2. So I'm gonna press okay, and then I'm going to send it to my printer. So what I'll do, I'll print this out. I will not use my Cricut to cut this out. I'm just gonna use my um, scissors to cut this out, seeing it's um, not so much of an intricate pr um, process. So I'll see you on the, when we are going to put this together. Okay guys, so these are the designs that I use. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and cut them out. All right, so what I'm gonna use do, I'm gonna use my alcohol and I'm gonna clean the surface of this. Okay, then I'm gonna take my lint roll and I'm gonna lint roll any debris off. Okay guys, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take my design and I am going to put it on top of this, like this. If you notice, I, I have some um, left over the edge. I did that because I know that um, I didn't want any white in my design. So I did that for a reason. So I'm gonna, I'm going to size it up to where I want it. Try to be as even as and as straight as possible. You could use the edge of this as a guide. Okay. All right, that looks okay. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my tape to hold it down. Okay, and I'm gonna do that for the rest of them. Ensure that it is straight. Okay guys, so I have my heat press ready and I put it for 400 degrees and I'm gonna press this for 60 seconds. You're gonna need a piece of butcher paper to put over your design. So this is my design. You need a piece of butcher paper, you're gonna put it over it so that it doesn't mess up your, your um, heat press. So now I'm going to go ahead and press this for 400 degrees for 60 seconds. And I don't want any ghost things, so I'm gonna try and hold it down as firm as possible. You know, while I was thinking about it, I said I should have put butcher paper down on this, my thing, to protect it. It just, it just, it just did not <laughs> come across my mind. So I messed up my thing. Let's see how it came out. I hope there's no ghost thing. Wow, it came out well. Look at that color release. Woo. Wow. Uh, it came out well, it's hot. 
See? Came out well. This is beautiful. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna do the others. This time, put butcher paper down <laughs> on your surface, okay. And you could also do it like this. I think I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna fold it in two and just fold it over. And then I, so I just put it in the middle of um, the butcher paper. Now I'm going to do the other one. Okay guys, so this is the result of the magnets that we just sublimated. Look how beautiful these are. They came out really nice. There's no ghosting. Everything looks nice and lovely. So what I'm gonna do, you're gonna take this part of the magnet now, and you're going to take off this piece that is there. Okay? So this piece that you take off, it's sticky. And you're gonna take it, and you're going to put it on your thing right here. So you're gonna take off. Okay guys, so this is the result with the magnets on them. All you'll have to do now is to take them and stick them to your fridge or anywhere that it, it, it will adhere to. Um, hope you find some value in this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified each time I make a video. Until we meet again, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.